Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is another Friday on FIFA Ultimate Team, and the question today is, are we getting a promo? There's been some stuff on Twitter that's been talked about. You know, it just seems like right now EA would want to drop a promo. So we'll talk about all that today. As of right now, people are saying we're getting a promo. We don't have a loading screen. We have some packs that have been added into the pack code. We'll talk about all that stuff today in this video. And uh, regardless of whether we do or don't have a promo, I have some market movements for you guys that we can look at and we can focus on um, with some of the foot birthdays. I'm gonna look at those cards today and talk about some of their prices uh, in this video today. But first of all, I do wanna give a shout out to you guys. Yes, you guys watched the video. Thank you for all you guys, 10,000 subscribers on the cha channel. Is dope whether you've been here for one day or you've been here since day one i appreciate every single one of you thank you for watching these videos and making it fun for me and hopefully you're learning something from it and making some coins that's what we're here to do on this game but that's not the whole point of this video so let's start talking about it right are we getting a promo today this is the stuff that was added to the pack code uh tonight via foot watch and as of right now we do not have a car design we do not have any like pack designs or um the only stuff that they put in are some tifos and some packs and these packs right here this has got everybody thinking right now on twitter this has got everybody thinking about one promotion and one promotion only team of the season now i don't think people are speculating that that comes today I would be very surprised if it did come today, but these packs are team of the season esque packs because they're broken up by league. The only other time that we see packs like this come out into the game, or usually the only other time is team of the year, which is when you have one set of cards with the team and then there's m multiple leagues, of course, right? I think we've had these type of upgrade packs come out before, but these are totally new. These packs are totally new. I don't think we've ever seen packs like this before and these seem like the type of packs that they would try to put out during a team of the season promo now they might just be putting these packs in um before team of the season just to get them in the code and maybe they're trying to fool us a little bit but right now uh whenever they put stuff in the in the code on a thursday night a lot of times we see that stuff on the friday so that makes us think uh, especially with some of what the other people are saying on twitter there was a leaked video of sergio aguero uh, yes, like so the Sergio Aguero was live streaming FIFA and he said people told me EA told me not to open my packs because there was going to be new cards on Friday. So I don't know if that has anything to do. That's where people are kind of getting their speculation for a promotion today. But what we have are these packs and I want to talk about these. There's uh, two different packs in here. It's called a five rare five gold rare Premier League players pack and it goes through I think all five leagues guarantees five gold rare premier league players that's pack number one and then we have the gold premier league booster which is a 10 gold players from the premier league with four of them being rare so both of those packs sound incredible imagine if we got those in like upgrade sbc form can you imagine going into the sbc section and knowing you're guaranteed five gold rares from a premier league that would that would be unbelievable um I doubt that would come as an actual gold upgrade because that would that would almost be like too good to be true, right? But um, still, those are the packs that were added to the code and that's making a lot of people think about team of the season. Now, do you have to panic sell? You don't have to panic sell. Um, we will, there's probably gonna be a ton of time before team of the season, kind of like a Black Friday type thing where we do start to see the, mar the, the, the market trail off in price, but we'll talk about it more this weekend and possibly in tomorrow's video if you have a lot of cards, you know, upper echelon, maybe some icons, maybe like a, a headliner Neymar or a really high rated version of a player who could get a TOTS card, we're going to want to start to look at maybe cashing out as early as this weekend, possibly to get the most coins we can before some of those cards start to tail off into team of the season, which is one of the biggest promotions on FIFA Ultimate Team. So again, today... We have a couple SBCs that are expiring. We don't know if there's anything that's coming that's going to be new. Of course, there's been people talking about stuff on Twitter. But as of right now, we have nothing confirmed, at least on my end. If you're watching this video and Footwatch has tweeted out a pack code or a pack design, uh, then that is after I've, I've made this video, and that's new information. Uh, so keep watch for that. They're at Footwatch on Twitter. 
they have access to the FIFA code and they tweet out stuff as we've looked at multiple times uh, on this video series. But today on Friday, the mid icon SBC goes away. High rated SBC fodders continuing to drop uh, and stuff is up for the weekend league. Now I want to talk about foot birthdays because I told you guys, regardless of what happens today on the market, there's going to be market movements around these foot birthdays uh, of these cards right here. Some of these guys didn't really go up today, and I mentioned this in my video yesterday. I was actually surprised by how many of these cards didn't continue going up. Da Costa, look at this, boys. I shouted Da Costa and I said, he's probably too high at 220k before rewards. You might want to take the coins. And look what has happened. Da Costa is now down at 200,000 coins. He's dropping because so many people have invested in this card. And now it is going down. I mean, they're still kind of breaking even because a lot of, of these guys bought this card at around um, 190,000 coins. But this is crazy, dude. Look at all these fresh ones, too. Look at these fresh, no games played. <laughs> this is so funny, man, because uh, this is obviously investors that are panic selling. And uh, they did not sell into the hype, which technically was the best thing that the best way to do things here. If you didn't sell in the hype, it's okay, all right? It is okay. Um, but what I'm telling you guys is pick up on some of this panic selling, right? These are investors that are dumping their cards because they want the coins uh, on this market. And that is, uh, these cards are out of packs. They're no longer getting supplied. To cost to under 200,000 coins is honestly pretty crazy because he was 220K, um, you know, before awards on Wednesday night into Thursday because people love this card. People use this card. Some of the other cards are down too. And, and the thing is with these cards, these foot birthdays, they're rare. Or they're not rare, but they have a lot of demand. Some of the higher tier ones are rare. Douglas Costa, 548. He was 568. He was 570 at one point. Eggstein's back under 50K. What about foot birthday team number one? Let me see some of these. Maxman's under 16. Mooney Ein's 145. Havertz is 349. Havertz was 370 earlier, bro. He was 370. Uh, wow, Lucas Hernandez is 279,000 coins. Wow, man. This is crazy. Now, I'm not laughing because these cards are down in price. Uh, I'm just laughing at people who are selling these cards because they invested and they're scared of a promo coming. If no promo comes today, then these guys are going to shoot back up because no, nobody is, there's not as many people that are just holding these cards on their transfer list anymore that are going to put them on the market trying to make coins off of them. Um, so this is going to be an, a per, if you see more panic selling headed into 6 PM Friday, and we know there's no promo coming, watch these cards cause they will be viable for a rebound. If you see a little bit more of a drop, like if I see Lucas Hernandez, maybe at 270 flat, that might be a go price for me. Cancelo is basically just over 200,000 coins. Again, uh, if you did not sell these cards in the hype, which I definitely warned at, I did not think it was going to be this severe though. Cancelo is 200, 209, 210,000 coins right now. Uh, and again, you can see there's a lot of first owner, second owner, no games play. This is, this is somebody who bought this card to invest in and they're not making money on it and they're taking their coins or they're making a little bit of money and they're just taking their coins. So if you haven't sold your foot birthdays yet, uh, I don't even know if I would sell them. To be honest, I might just wait until tonight. Friday night is usually when the market is high for weekend league, uh, especially if we don't get a promo. Uh, you could hold on to them if you wanted to, but the time to sell these was actually before rewards, uh, which I'm glad I shouted that out to you guys because hopefully you guys sold all your foot birthdays or at least most of them before rewards today uh, and before all the stuff got put back into the code and now people that invest in this game are getting kind of, you know, quote unquote worried because of... Um, because of what's coming on the market today and what could be coming with team of the season. So watch the foot birthday panic today. If you see some of those cards drop more, please, please, please get on the market and look for some of those cards. Again, Lucas Hernandez, Teo Hernandez, uh, Mooney Ayn, Havertz, Cancelo, um, Lozano is 95K right now. Da Costa at like 190, 195,000 coins. That card is going to be 215, 220K probably at some point again, depending on what promos we have and when team of the season actually is. Um, but these foot birthday cards are different, right? And they're going to stay um, popular in this game because of the weak foot and the skill move updates. So definitely take a look at these cards. And if you see panic selling on them, this is what I was going to say to watch for the panic selling on Sunday after these cards um, went away. Even I had to sell a, Lu a Lucas Hernandez today. I bought.
270. I had to sell at 291. So I made a little bit of profit, but not much. I was able to sell these other ones at around 300,000 coins, which uh, he was even higher before this. But I, I just took the coins again, and now they're even lower uh, because people are afraid of the promo that is coming today, whatever that promo may be. So watch for more panic selling and foot birthdays because they are going to be very profitable from here on out because nobody is, not as many people, some people probably still have them on the transfer list, but way less people are just now hoarding them and looking to flip them for profit. So um, make sure that you, you've you sold those if, if you had those in your club. But I want to talk about Thursday flips. And then also I want to talk a little bit more about team of the season to end this video off just to kind of get our minds right and just kind of, you know, refresh about what team of the season is going to be. This Lewandowski, I posted this on Twitter today, 441k average sell price between these five. I bought five of these at an average buy price of 381. So, you know, average profit after tax of like 30 something thousand coins a card, I believe off the top of my head. Uh, so that was, you know, that's a, that's a banging investment right there. Five of those cards at 30k each. 150,000 coins we made right there on just those cards. The team of the week investing was great today. I bought this Sun at 125, sold it at 134. So, you know, that's a decent flip. Nothing crazy, like 20K-ish. This Halan was from earlier in the week, bought it at 155. This was the deal of the day, though. Boys, I have not been trading with icons very much. I've just been doing my Sunday night into like Thursday, Friday flipping, weekly flipping on the Panic Cell post weekend league. Um, just kind of like some passive trend investing, I guess you could say. And this one today, I literally was on the icon market for 15 minutes in total. And I had, I had taken some time off looking at the market and I came back for a quick search just to see if there was anything there. My first search back at the 59th minute, this Pele, baby Pele sitting there for 1.77 million coins. So basically somebody missed the number. They were trying to list for 277. They listed at 177, so that, that number in front, they messed it up. Uh, and I made 880,000 coins profit after tax on this card. That was a crazy icon snipe. Uh, it wants, that, that makes me want to get back in the icons again. But again, these Bruno Fernandez are bought at 630. This Alaba was at 653. My Tielemans were bought at 637. Uh, this was at 360, 380. 270, 275, and 280, I think, were both of those. So kind of profit-ish, not really. I had some lazy sales today on Robertson at 160. He's still around 140K. I had some lazy sales on Digne as well at 155. Actually, two of them on bid, which was interesting. Both had shadows. I bought those for 140K a piece. And I still have some of my left backs from the Prem. I know I've talked to you guys about possibly investing in some of these. Uh, they're still pretty low. So this could be something that you look for today as well because... Um, these cards are still pretty low in my opinion. Um, with, you know, Lucas Digne, I think is around 140K. Is he? Wow, man. He's even lower now. Crazy. So people are actually starting to sell cards heading into these this time period where they think Team of the Season is coming. I'm just going to pick that up because that's crazy. He was 140 all day today. And this one has a shadow. So I'm going to be storing some of these prem left backs on my transfer list. I don't think we're getting Team of the Season today. I really don't. And I do think these cards will rebound. But if they don't rebound, we'll bite the bullet. It is what it is. But sometimes, uh, some stuff, wow. Van Anholt's getting cheap too, man. These left backs in the Prem just keep getting cheaper. 145 for Van Anholt. That is cheap. Uh, let me check Robertson as well. He's probably like under 140 as well. These Premier League left backs are getting hit again because of the uh, Christian Fuchs SBC. But they're Premier League left backs, right? And I always expect a rebound on Premier League cards because uh, especially with some of these guys, there's not a ton of tradable Prem left backs. There's a Rabo for 145. All right, so 145 for Rabo. He's probably at 140 earlier today. But again, let's talk team of the season just for a little bit and what we could expect in the weeks ahead, just to kind of give you guys a quick refresher at the end of this video about team of the season. This is the community team of the season from last year. And again, it was community voted for the second ever time. Uh, and there was only one squad. So there were no silver and bronze most consistent players. And how EA determined if it was a most consistent player, what they did was a, the community team of the season was based on a short list of 104 players who performed consistently well throughout the season, but did not receive a performance-based inform as of April 15th which was a couple weeks before team of the season actually came out. So with that being said, these were the vote, the guys that we got to vote on last year. Telez obviously was dope. Now, again, this says performance-based inform. Telez 
had a Champions League road to the final card. That's not a performance-based end form for his individual performance. That is a promo card that is updated based on the Champions League, his team performance. So that didn't count. I know you're thinking like, whoa, wait, tell us last year. Yeah, tell us how to, that card last year, how to get a tot. That's how. So keep your eye out for some of this stuff. Again, maybe some cards, maybe you'll see people start to compile some lists on Twitter or start thinking of some cards that could be in this list again. Uh, Rodri, of course, 85 rated, wants to watch, didn't get any informs this year. Would be a perfect candidate again for team in the season most consistent, I guess, uh, if they choose to do it the same way this year as they did it last year. But that's how this was. Uh, you you had to put your team together with exactly 23 players, four from the same league, at least two goalkeepers, six defenders, six midfielders, and at least three forwards. And then you had the squad, which was these guys. And then, um, of course, you know, that's what actually some people think is going to be the promo this weekend. Like we had the team of the year nominee cards. Uh, like I'll go, if you haven't seen these cards in a while, these, these cards are great for weekend league flipping, by the way, but these team of the year nominee cards, um, this one right here, like the 95, the, the plus ones, they basically gave a plus one rating in every single stat and the, the, the rating as well, um, around team of the year for our vote for team of the year. People are thinking they might do that for team of the season this year as well. They do like team of the season nominee cards for the next couple weeks, and then we'll have team of the season. That's what some people are guessing. I don't know if it's true or not. If it is, that would be cool. Don't know what kind of boost they would give the cards, but it would be, be very, very interesting to see um, what's going to happen with this with this Friday. This, this Friday is really just a, we don't know what is coming. People say there's a promo coming. So if you've got packs, maybe you hold on to them. Uh, and if you're, if you're worried about your team losing its value, I don't think I would panic sell. I really do not think I would panic sell because as of right now, as long as the promo is not team of the season, which I can guarantee you that it is not because they were going to, they're going to hype up team of the season. Uh, that's one of their biggest promos on foot. They hyped up team of the year a lot, right? We're going to have multiple loading screens for team of the season. We're going to have like a week in advance to know when the promo is coming. So do not worry. It's not team of the season. The market should not crash that hard. Um, because of what team of the season brings. I just think it might be a different promo this weekend. We'll see. We really don't know. We're going to have to wait until EA drops us some hints or some clues in a loading screen or a tweet, um, or if we get some stuff in the pack code, or just wait till 6 p.m. UK and see what happens today on foot. But again, watch the foot birthday cards. Watch the panic selling, because a lot of people are offloading those investments because they're scared of what's coming today. There could be a rebound Friday night into Saturday as people play the weekend league um and they have to buy those cards for their team so that's the video for today good luck if you're opening packs uh and also don't forget this uh season objective don't forget the season objective for the 100k pack i completed it actually and now it's not uh showing over there but i have a 100k pack here in the store hook up with one of your buddies get in my discord uh exclamation mark discord down below Actually, you don't have to do that because this isn't Twitch chat, but there's a link to my Discord that's down below. Get in there, and there's a lot of people that are searching every single day to find friendlies um, to get this 100K pack. So you can stack that up, save it for Team of the Season, or open it for whatever promo comes today if we do get a promo. So if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.